Welcome back to our tech. Today, I'm going to quickly take you through the Android Oreo update on the OnePlus 3 phone. All right, so this update came really quickly on my phone, uh, even faster than the OnePlus 5. Uh, this update has some exciting new features like parallel apps, picture-in-picture, -picture, autofill, smart text selection, uh, new quick settings design and some updated security patches. The update itself was about one and a half GB and it uh, kind of uh, downloaded really quickly. And I also noticed that when you're actually installing the update, you can still continue to use the phone. So that was really nice and something different you see on this update. Let me just quickly show you uh, the settings screen and what is new. And that's, that's where I saw that you know we have the Android Oreo 8.0 I just wanted to see what kind of logo comes up and it was just a small little circle which kind of blinked nothing else happened so or uh, that was a you know update logo that you can see once you click on it so let's quickly jump through some of the new features I'm just taking through uh, a few of them so one is the parallel app function so for this, uh, just to make sure that you en have this enabled, you need to go to the settings option on your phone. And as you can see right now, there's only one instance of each app, each of these apps. Like for example, this one WhatsApp, this one Facebook, and this one Messenger. Now if you have a dual SIM and you want to use a second account, for example, this could come in handy. And for that, you just need to go to your application permissions, and there you'll see straight away you have the parallel app option just enable whichever apps you want to have a parallel option on your screen so you just get a second instance of these on your phone so i'm just enabling these three just to show you that they do appear so yeah so i have two whatsapp apps now <laughs> how do you say that you have two messengers and you can also have two Facebooks and some of the other apps which are supported. You also notice that small little tiny dot next to each of the apps. This is something new again. You get a notification and that app will actually have a small um, glow next to it. So the second biggest update was the picture in picture, which unfortunately didn't really work well for me. Maybe I'm not doing something right. You guys can help me in the comment section. So again, just to show you, you'll have to actually go and check if it's enabled for you. So under the uh, app permissions, you'll see picture in picture. And these are the apps which are supported. You have Chrome, Maps, WhatsApp, and even, you know, some of the other apps like Google Play. So once you enable that, uh, the only things which worked for me was, was the Google Maps. So once you start your navigation, just make sure it has to be running. All you hit, all you got to do is just hit the home button and then you'll notice that it continues to run and you can still browse or do whatever else you're doing on your phone. And I can move the map around and it'll still should, uh, it should still keep working. And this worked really well for me as compared to some of the other things which I was trying. I'm sure uh, you know there are some uh, bug fixes which are still going through but uh, maybe it's a problem with my phone and again if you double click it increases the size and you can uh, hit the x button to just get it off the way the app still runs in the background i tried this with uh, chrome and remember i heard that you know this only works on videos on chrome so i ran a video on a reddit site And then I hit the home button, I saw that the video actually closed. Let me show that again. So you need to play the video and you need to play it on full screen. And then it did not work. So I don't know what actually went wrong or what's actually happening. And this happened for any of the other sites as well, which I was trying to do. Look at that. The video plays for a second and then it just closes off. So I don't know what the glitch was, but that didn't work. Again, YouTube also supports this option. So does VLC. VLC works well, again, with the screen option. But uh, 
you know YouTube for YouTube to work on this picture in picture mode you need to have YouTube red enabled right otherwise it's not going to work the smart text feature which is one of the last things I'm going to show you quickly is uh, is again exciting because unlike before you can just click on a word and it'll actually select it and Google will also show you some options at the bottom if you want to search for it and if it's something related to an address and you click on it Google can actually recognize an address <clears throat> it can show you the maps option and if it's a phone number it'll kind of uh, take you to the phone app <clears throat> so th these are some of the new exciting features it's also got this autofill option which helps you uh, skip using a password I I didn't try it yet but I think that should be good too and uh, some of these new updates are good I just hope they kind of work better and this is uh, this is probably the last big update you're getting on your oneplus phone so that's it for me it's a short video uh, thank you so much for watching let let me know if this these new uh, features work well on your phone leave in your comments please hit the like button and subscribe if you like my videos I'll see you in the next one thank you bye bye